Well, I've never noticed this before. It's completely anyway. This is Caffili, that's the mark of the Had the day up, took the day up, the day off to have a water meter fitted. He came at 9 o'clock, he finished at 5 past 9. That's all done. That's all. Today is Curry Day as well. Good. And this is number one. Landmark by the wine brewery at 5.5% alcohol by volume. I'm waiting for the curry to start, which is 12 o'clock. Naturally cloudy, or maybe near the end of the barrel. I don't know. I don't care, to be honest. It looks a nice paint. Carpet for Mr. Marling. Ah, very sharp, bitter taste. And a sort of citrusy, orangey peel sort of bit to it. And a touch sour. Certainly a multitude of tastes. I don't know, we're not that keen on it. I'm going to give it a B. This is number two. This is Rumney King's Ale from the Rumney Brewery which isn't in the Rumley Valley. Namely, no, the simple I never know. And before that, it was in Dowlas, which isn't in the Rumley Valley. Lord knows. Anyway, 4.7% alcohol by volume. I think the first time I had this was in the John Fielding in Cumbran. And that was probably a Thursday, the curry day. Anyway, here come the curry day advert-y things. It's been a long time. I can keep going. So I'm looking forward to a curry. Curry! Excellent. Curry club. Anyway, um... And I think the answer to that is not a bad bit there. B plus. But he's better if he was brewed in the Romney Bar. So this is a half empty stove press, post curry, chicken tikka masala, side order chips and barges. This is from Westerns and 4.5% alcohol by volume. It's mass market. It's okay. And uh, the sun's shining outside. So you need a bit of cider, especially with that curry. Which, yeah. Yes, this is a really good one. 